The most common question that is asked of me is why do I want to run for a political office in one of the most volatile political times in American history? And I think the answer has to do a lot with who I truly am and what motivates me. My parents were immigrants who worked the fields of the Salinas Valley. I grew up in a time of segregation where the rich agricultural growers lived in one part of the city and the workforce lived on the outskirts of town in another part of the city. The children of the rich growers went to schools that were the best schools with all the programs and amenities and we went to schools on the outskirts of town in pop-up trailers. My dad was a different breed. He was an advocate. I remember that he went to talk to the principal of one of the best schools in town and he said, my daughter Lorraine deserves to go to this school. She tests so great, she has high test scores and she's gonna grow up to do something amazing. She's gonna do something great. Well, he wouldn't take no for an answer. And finally they told him, well, okay, we can bust your daughter to this school. I remember he came home more than excited and he said, you get to go to this school. I wasn't excited, I cried. And I said, I don't wanna to go to that school. They're gonna be mean to me, they're different than me and they'll treat me differently. I, I don't, I, I don't wanna go. But my dad's response was, someday you'll understand why I fought so hard for you. Um, the truth is that they were mean it was very hard. I was the only person of color in my classroom and every day they reminded me. Sadly, my father passed away in a tragic accident two months after I started that school. My childhood taught me that wealth and status don't define us. Our work, our passion, our heart, who we love and who loves us truly defines us. I learned that we are all better together. I learned that there are times when we must stand up and fight. And I also know that there are times when we need to really look past the negatives that are thrown in our path. We have to forgive. We have to find common ground instead of our differences. And we find that sweet spot that gets the answer. My dad's advocacy burns in my heart. It's probably why I've spent the last 35 years as the executive director of an agency that houses homeless abused children and their mothers who are often victims of domestic violence. It is why in my professional political life as a two-term council member that I, I worked so hard to develop the Anaheim Family Justice Center, first of its kind in the nation, that I also worked to um, have a strong resort area and strong businesses and work together to make it all happen. So I think from Washington DC to the states to the local, we need to have leaders that understand there will always be two sides. There will always be special interest. There will always be people who are passionate on both sides, but to get things done, to move things forward, we need to find ways to come together. And in that way, we can move forward. In that way, we can make our communities, our states, our entire nations the best that it can possibly be. So thank you so much, Lori Galloway, Mayor of the City of Anaheim.